beta-1 receptors. In order to understand beta-1 receptors, we need to review the autonomic nervous system with its opposing sympathetic and parasympathetic systems. Sympathetic is your body's natural response to either fight or flight, and parasympathetic where it chooses to rest and digest. Let's take a look at fight or flight. If you come across a snake, your eyes get big, your airways open up, your heart rate goes up, increased cardiac output, your GI tract slows down, and you're going to retain urine because you can't urinate and run at the same time. Let's take a look at what happens in the sympathetic nervous system, how it is activated, and what receptors are stimulated or blocked. Neurotransmitters that stimulate or affect the sympathetic nervous system are epinephrine, norepinephrine, and dopamine. These neurotransmitters can affect alpha-1 and alpha-2 receptors, beta-1 and beta-2 receptors. In this case, let's take a look at the beta-1 receptor. Beta-1 receptors are found in the heart. You want to remember the number 1 because you only have one heart. So beta-1 receptors are found in the heart. The effect of stimulating a beta-1 receptor is that it increases the heart rate, it increases blood pressure, and this goes back to our example in our guy here that ran into a snake. He experienced not only big eyes, bronchodilation, but he also had an increase in heart rate and an increased cardiac output. So essentially, beta-1 receptors are found in the sympathetic nervous system and they are found in the heart. Beta-1 receptors are also found in the kidney. In the kidney, stimulating beta-1 receptors will increase renin secretion. Renin is an enzyme made by the kidney and it plays a role in releasing angiotensin 1. Angiotensin 1 is converted to angiotensin 2 by an ACE enzyme. And the result is, is that the production of angiotensin 2 causes vasoconstriction and the release of aldosterone, which increases sodium and water retention. This in turn will increase blood pressure. We use beta blockers to block the effect of renin and to prevent vasoconstriction and blocking the release of aldosterone. The effect of beta blockers on the heart is that it decreases heart rate, it decreases blood pressure, and it is used to treat a variety of arrhythmias, hypertension, and heart failure. Subscribe to learn more. Videos are updated and uploaded weekly. Videos will cover all topics that are found in your pharmacology textbook. Thanks for watching.